Hey everyone, welcome back to this video series on the rest assured tutorial. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can uh, work with the post request type, right? So until now we have been looking at the different ways of working with the get request. But in this video, we'll be uh, looking at the post request type. Uh, so we'll be writing some tests using the rest assured um, where we'll be sending a post request, okay? Now for this particular uh, video, I'll be using um, my my dummy local api server or rest api right so uh, which i have explained you how you can um, run your own rest api in your local using uh, without writing any code it's just a github uh, it's just a github code base from where uh, you can start your own json server right so you we have already done that in our previous video so if you have not watched that video, I highly recommend you to go back to that video because I'll be using the same API in this particular uh, session. Okay, so the link is, um, I've already provided that link um, on the top of this video if uh, you are not able to access that, right? So uh, if I look at look back at my um, local API, REST API, right? So this is where, uh, this is the URL uh, for one of the a API request URI, right? Which is the post. Similarly, we have comments and other things. Okay, but uh, I'll be basically posting another post, right? So I'll be kind of creating another post on the server, right? So there are currently five posts here, but I'll be adding another one here. So using the post request. So that's what we are going to do. Okay, so let's create and the test here and let me create a method here so i'll be saying post request local json server something like that okay uh, now here uh, we can say given and then um, so before that, actually we should create the payload, right? So payload is nothing but uh, your body, okay? So that, that's what we are calling it here, payload. So the JSON body, which will be posting to the server, okay? So if you remember, we have created this db.json, which has got all the different um, content for this JSON body type, right? So um, you can actually copy this. Uh, you can have the same format here, right, as a string. So, okay, just a minute. Let me put it inside this, okay. So this will be as a string, JSON string, right? So um, we will change the content here anyways. So we'll make this the sixth one, sixth post, right? And we can leave other things. So this is our payload, okay? Which is nothing but the JSON body, which will be uh, sending in the post request, okay? So now um, we'll use given, and then uh, we'll say content type. So as you know, there are different content types um, in your API, in your API, right? So it could be you are sending it in the text format or in the JSON format or in the XML format, but you need to specify that, okay? So we are sending it in the JSON format. So we will say content type dot JSON. And then um, we'll say the body, right? So we'll pass the payload here. Okay, so this is the body. And then um, we will say post and we'll be giving the URI to where we'll, it will be posting, right? So this is the URI. So give it here, okay. Okay, so this is the post and then we will say, then dot, we'll say, we'll check our status code. Now, remember, uh, just remember in REST API, the status code for a post request is 201 for a successful post, right? Compared to your um, get request, which is um, 
200 right so but for post it is 201 so just remember that and then we will what we'll do is we'll also kind of log the body what is returned in this okay and so that's it okay so this is what um, a post request looks like right so you will change the request type to post right and you will give the url here same similarly what we are doing it earlier also we need to have a we need to pass a body right so in get request you don't need to pass any body you can pass the headers but you don't need a body but in post request you need to have a body because you are creating a resource on the server right so it requires that um, content to create on the server okay and it's better to also mention the content type right so when you are sending a post request it, you can mention what what content type is present in the server so for us it is json json for if it is xml you can specify xml also okay so let's try and run this and see whether it's working or not so it's a pretty simple uh, post request um, obviously um, in the real world uh, when you're working with the real applications your post request could be much more complicated but um, more or less this would be the way uh, you would be posting uh, making a post request to your server okay so this is the response uh, so it is giving you the response like uh, what what is the resource which was created on the server which is id6 whatever we have defined on our um, payload right payload string okay so we'll also verify that um, on our server whether it is reflecting back on the server or not whether it was created so as you can see a new post was created with the id6 and title json server 6 right so whatever we gave so this is how you send a post request where you create a resource on the server you create something new okay so in the coming up videos i will show you uh, some other request types like the put request the delete request right so we'll look at all of these so that's all for this video i hope um, you like this video if you have any questions or feedback please leave it in the comment section and keep watching um, for more videos on different um, tools here you will find it in our channel so see you in the next video and have a good day